Okay, you guys. It's it's story time. All right, so I am seriously embarrassed to tell this to you guys, but I have to be honest here and I don't want anyone to fall into like a trap or anything. So this is why I'm going to put this out there and really, really plain and clear. So I, of course, am a Christian. First, most, I'm a Christian. And I have told you guys in the past that I am single. Well, if you are on here on YouTube, you have probably seen the up, Upper app. Um, it's for Christian singles. It's this new thing. And I think it's called Upwards or Up. Upper? I might need to check that. Anyway, hold on, hold on, I'm back. It's upward, <laughs> upward. So anywho, um, I thought I did enough research and I looked at the app and there were not very good reviews on it. And mainly it said because it had like glitches and bugs. So I was just, you know, I that didn't really deter me from not doing it so i'm like okay cool it's got some glitches it's a new app what do you expect right okay so i didn't do it right away i prayed about it and i thought about it and i'd never done like a dating app before like that and i went on to some other sites for Christian mingles and stuff and um, not exactly that one but I went on some apps and uh, some different Christian dating sites and uh, it didn't really work out it didn't really pan out so I'm like you know what I'm just gonna try this upward and you know I'm just gonna do it sorry I cut myself and I don't know how and it hurts um, so yeah, it really hurts. Um, so anyway, trying to get my thoughts together. So I signed up for Upwards and it was really, really easy. You cannot look for free. That is a lie. It said, look for free. That's a lie. Um, then I signed up and they like want all of your, you know, information real quick and all this stuff. And so I'm like, okay, this is, I guess it's okay. And, um, the picture, like uploading a picture is really weird because it only allows like a certain, like view of it. And so that was really weird. And I didn't like, I didn't like that at all. So I didn't really have like good pictures to show out there because <laughs> my face was like all blown up like that and it was like okay <laughs> no who is going to like that but um uh and then of course I saw the glitches because I would put something in and then it would erase it there was no way to save it so that was weird I didn't understand that so there was a lot of bugs there were a lot of glitches there and then so I finally got all signed up then it said I had over a hundred like matches like instant right away didn't understand that now I do now I understand why because they feed those into you because you can't see any matches like you won't see any of your matches. You have to pay to see them. Um, I don't even think you can talk to anybody unless you pay to talk. So I was really so mad because I was like, here I have all of these matches, all of these things, like all these likes, and I can't see them. So I, w I got really paranoid and I'm like, I, got, I have to buy it. I just have to do it. I just have to buy the bullet and do it. So there's like two tiers. 
you can sign up for like just the basic package or you can sign up for the elites. Of course they want you to sign up for the elite. So like a dummy, they tell you exactly like what you're getting in the basic package. And it's not much. I tell you that it's not much. It's not even as, it's like, it might as well have been free. You might as well just stayed there. Um, so it was like $14.99. So it was like $15 for the month. And so I did that, you know, thinking that I was going to be able to see my matches, right? No, wrong. I read the information wrong. I got too quick and excited. And it was like, I literally had zero access to anything that I really wanted to do on upwards. And I was super pissed because I just charge my card for $15 and I can't do jack with it. So I'm like, now I'm going to have to upgrade to the elite package for $30. So now I spent 15 on top of that 30. Mm, made me pissed. I'm so pissed. So anyway, I did that. And then everything was unlocked. I could see all my matches. I can, you know, talk to people, everything. Good to go, right? Okay. So you put in your stats of what you want, um, what you're looking for. You can only choose three, by the way. So make them count. Um, and uh, you can put your distance, even though it doesn't, the app, doesn't care if you put in a distance because it's going to pull everybody. It does not matter if you put in a distance. So, um, because they're only suggestions. So it's like, all right. So I went through the hundred matches, uh, that they probably filtered in. Cause there's no way that all the guys saw my, you know, profile and everything. So they were potential matches potential matches all right potential matches okay i went through all of those none that i really liked and it doesn't matter because my preference uh there was a preference on there that i really really chose that i wanted like ixnade like i definitely did not want guys that wanted x y and z and it didn't really matter because the guys that wanted x y and z still chose me. They still filtered in. And I was like, I specifically said, I don't want X, Y, and Z. Please do not, you know, filter men in that want that particular thing. So I'm like, why am I getting matched with guys that want this? And I don't. So again, I didn't like that. Other things, all right, other things, other things. So, um, what else? You, uh, you can't, you can't, um, know, like, you can't go back into, like, your matches. So, you can super like, you can super like somebody, and then you don't, like, it's not like, like Facebook match, you could at least see like people that you liked before or something like that. So this, it doesn't allow you to see that. So that sucks. Um, and then what else? What else happened? There were a lot of glitches. Um, the guys on there were like, this is, this is the big thing. The guys on there were not legit like at all. The guys were not even legit at all. I unfortunately, unfortunately got scammed twice within two days of signing up for the service. And that's why I contacted them. And I was like, I did not pay a buttload of money, not a buttload, but enough money to be scammed. And I'm a legit person. I'm trying to do this for real. And you have people on here literally scamming for no reason, like whatsoever, like no reason. And it was my fault. I didn't know the rules of, you know, of safety of dating online. There are some rules of safety. 
but also those rules kind of suck because if you can't send pictures if you can't verify that this person is actually the person that you are actually trying to talk to they have a picture they have a profile if that's not them how are you going to verify that if you can't call them and like hear their voice if you can't see them in a video like how are you going to verify that that is actually the person you can't you have to get off your little site and go to somewhere else where you can do that and this is how you do that so thankfully i found an actually legit person i have fished through so many so many so many profiles like so 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 many like hours like i'm actually embarrassed to even admit that but i'm gonna admit it because all of y'all do it too okay so I went through so many and like some of them, you know, and, and the scammers are so good because I mean, they're not so good, but they're good. Like it doesn't matter if they only have a few pictures. It doesn't matter if they have just a few blurbs here and there. Like some of them are obvious, like mm, that's superimposed, that picture isn't real, or they have some like misspelled words or some weird some weird verbiage in there, you know, titles and stuff. Um, but like sometimes you just don't even, you don't even catch it. Sometimes you don't even know. I still have lipstick everywhere. But anywho, so sometimes they're legit, sometimes they're not. Um, but what I figured out is that, um, well, I was told that you get a burner number. It's great. It's great so you don't give out your real number like a re like a stupid me. I did like I did. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stupid. Don't do that. Um, I only did it once though. So um, so yeah, don't go off to another platform. Don't go off to like an, a Google Hangouts or a, a whatnot. Don't don't go out there. Like just don't do any of that. Like just get like one of those, you know, burner app phones, uh, phone numbers, and just give them that number. Just give them a fake number that you can just use so that they don't have your real number. An, a place where you can actually take photos and hear their voice and things like that because that's the only way that you're going to know that that's the real person and then there's other ways like for me like I mean these aren't legit ways these are just like if you must date online like I'm just I'm going through <laughs> this all on my own so um I recently just asked this dude to verify to make sure it's him. Um, so in his profile pictures, uh, which he has enough of them, um, I asked him, I was like, okay, do you have this specific shirt? And he's like, yeah, I do. I'm like, okay, cool. It's great. It's great. I want you to take a picture of that specific shirt and not wearing it. I just want you to hold it up to the camera and like take a picture and in this app I can see it so I know that it's you. Um, and I would do the same thing. I'm like, okay, like I can verify something, you know, in one of my pictures and I'll tell you that it's really me. Because I know it's really me because I'm not, I'm not here trying to fake anybody out and tell people like, oh, hey. <laughs> We're going to be soulmates, like crap like that. Um, so yeah, no, just be careful when ladies and guys, I mean, guys, I mean, I'm not going to like, you know, go for you guys so much, but like women, you know, we're so, so vulnerable, you know, and like guys just naturally take advantage of that. And so that's why I'm just like talking to the ladies, really. I'm just talking to you ladies. I mean, I'm sure guys have been catfished before by, like, somebody that's, like, trying to pretend that they're a woman or something like that, but, or whatever, you know, like, like, some dudes are not into that, okay? They're straight. <laughs> 
so they want they want a female you know um but anyway that's that's none of my business none of my business my story is that you know i don't want women out there to get on this app and like like i said there were just so many guys that were just and the guys that i chatted with on the actual site i was like look i'm not going to give you my number i'm not going to go to another platform unless you want to chat here we can chat here until i'm ready until i'm familiar with you enough that i feel comfortable going off this platform and a lot of them just deleted me a lot of them were just like nope i'm not gonna put in that effort and so i'm like <laughs> Okay, bye. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't have time for that. And, you know, if you're not willing to do that, then you're just not the person for me. And you're probably a scammer. And so, yeah. So, that's my story on Upward. Um, the app, the dating app, that new app that is being pushed out there on YouTube all over. Um, is it worth it? No. Go to another platform. Don't go to Upward. I would tell you just just go somewhere else. Like it's not worth it. There's so many just fake apps out there. I or accounts. There's so many fake accounts out there. Um, I literally talked to a dude that was like tried to pull off that he was the person in the picture, and I'm like, you don't even sound like that guy. Honestly, you don't. And I'm not going to, like, be mean or anything on here, but he sounded foreign, like, the wrong type of foreign, like, a whole nother race foreign. <laughs> and this guy was, like, white, <laughs> if I, if that makes clear, <laughs> if that's clarity for you. So, yeah, I was like, no. And then I asked him to prove it that he was who he says he was, and he hung up. So there you go. That's that. But yeah, no, I am not uh, promoting this app whatsoever. I would tell you, and I actually do want to get off of it. I closed my subscription um, to the app itself, and I have already put in my notice and say hey I want to delete this I want to cancel this get me off of here it's not worth it so that's my story that's my update that's what I've been doing for the past two to three days <laughs> not filming I've been busy doing other things so anyway I hope this helps you guys in kind of like steering around these dating apps uh let me know let me know if you guys have been on some dating apps and what what you've done and if you were successful on there or if you weren't successful on there. So, thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'm so excited that I have 74 subscribers now. What? Growing. Growing. All right. I'll see y'all in the next videos.